G'day. I'm a YouTube certified expert and recently I reached over 700,000 views and currently have about 25,000 hours watch time. If you're a YouTube creator or thinking of starting a YouTube channel, here are more of my tips as a 14 year YouTube creator. In my recent live stream, I gave examples of many things that will help your channel grow if you follow them. Important suggestions such as tags and titles that contribute metadata and help people find your video among the millions of others and want to watch it. Other vital things you can do to help yourself include thumbnails. A good thumbnail will stand out and grab you just as much as the title will. Watch my live stream for more information on this. What you're seeing now are some of my video thumbnails that have helped give me the most views over the years. Make sure your thumbnails are bright, sharp and clearly in focus. If you find your videos not seeming to get many views, spend time trying different thumbnails for that video. YouTube has come a long way and has become very good at suggesting thumbnails, but it's not perfect. If there's room to put a few relevant words on the thumbnail, try that, but make sure you can clearly read those words. Maybe try a different coloured font, but don't cover up the picture with words or else you may risk not grabbing that potential viewer's attention. It's trial and error with most topics. Another suggestion I have is to make a short but interesting YouTube channel trailer. Make sure you sound lively to your viewer and not dull and half asleep. A channel trailer is like your advertisement to show what your channel is about and not only shows a brief example of the types of videos you make most often. but also serves as a hook for people to then go and watch more of your videos and hopefully subscribe and click the bell as well. In my YouTube help for small YouTubers playlist, you'll find tips like what is the ideal length for a YouTube video, as well as the best type of camera for YouTube, lighting, sound and editing. I also mention some of these in greater length in my small YouTubers live stream. Things have changed a lot over the years with the YouTube algorithm and what once worked doesn't necessarily apply now. For example, if you already make YouTube videos, the usual recommendation has always been to upload two to three videos a week. But personally, I've found in recent times, my YouTube videos tend to get more views if I wait three to four days at least between videos, so that subscribers I already have can get round to watching your video among the many videos we get emailed about on a daily basis. If your video niche tends to be vlogs, you'll also find vlogging tips in my vlogging masterclass playlist. And if you're going out and about, try to plan ahead what sort of shots you'll include. I almost always formulate in my head how I'll end up editing the video before I film it. Sometimes, however, we don't plan to make a video and may just decide on the way or once you're there to make a video about your trip. In which case, a lot of people end up using their phones to film. And that's okay too. Most phone video quality is very good these days. You can improve the quality of the video a lot by panning very slowly on what you're showing. And at the highest frame rate you can set, typically 50 or 60 frames per second, so that the picture looks smooth and not jerky. It may feel like you're moving your camera too slowly, but trust me, it will pay dividends when you see the footage. Also, I recommend always keeping a copy of your completed video and any extra B-roll footage or cutaway shots for use in a future video. This saves you going back out to refilm a similar scene another time, if you even can. Remember, we may not always like the things that YouTube changes, but keep in mind, YouTube is a free service that we don't have to pay for. So we have to play by their rules. Check out these playlists for more help in growing your YouTube channel and improving your videos. See you next time. Cheers.